Dr. Morabian in his book, Silent Messages, says that 7% of our communication is words, 38% of it is vocal tone, and 55% of it is nonverbal communication. It's huge. I'm Nat O'Farrell and I come from Orlando, Florida. I got to work in casting and also education, so I saw kids in a lot of different environments. One day in class, I met a student and he did not know that I was going to be his casting director the following day. And the way he acted with me was very different. And in class, he seemed very sad and depressed and not sure of himself. But by the time I saw him the next day, his entire emotions changed. He was happy, he was ready to work, and it really, it, it showed me that you can be totally different uh, in different situations and get what you want. Let's look at some elements that we can focus on as we grow older. Most of the time when people get nervous, they shrug their shoulders, they cross their arms, they kind of slouch. We call this slouching. Our first point today, I want to talk about posture. Open your posture. Okay. This says, I'm pretty confident in who I am and I'm ready to learn. Point two, you want to remember to keep your eyes on your subject, all right? If you're talking to someone and you're constantly looking down and you look distracted, remember at the beginning of the video and someone's trying to tell you something, it can be very distracting. You kind of lose yourself and the other person gets very confused on what you want. And number three, your tone of voice. You could say the same thing several times in a different tone. I'm good. I'm good. I'm really good. Or, I'm good. Focus on having a pleasant tone. Because no one wants to give you something if you're like, I want that right now. Or, can I please have that? Now, everyone gets nervous during life. You get nervous when you meet new people, a new teacher. Maybe you have to give a, a speech in front of your entire class. Now, what are some things we can do when we start getting nervous before we speak? I'm gonna talk about the simplest part, breathing. That's right, we all do it, but for some reason when we start getting nervous, breathing becomes harder. So, I wanna give you a little exercise to remember before you speak in front of people. I hope this helps. You want to breathe in from your stomach out, okay? The stomach and this area holds the most air, so we want to push out while breathing in. Sometimes your back might even crack when you're doing this. And hold it for like 10 seconds. Do this about three or four times before you speak. It's pretty simple, right? This gets all the oxygen flowing to the brain. You can think clearer. There are people everywhere in the world. And the way I see it, we're all in theater. We're all actors in some story. So we want to present exactly the kind of character that we enjoy. Who are some people you look up to? Maybe there's some common traits that you can work on the next time you present yourself, whether it's in class or for presentation, maybe it's just meeting a new friend. And maybe I'll see you at the next casting call. <laughs>